Thank you so much, Michelle. Let's get into your forecast details because we are dealing with some very cool air right now and we know that there has been some snow in southern Ontario. But this is must-see video from the state of Maine. The police there, look at this, pretty alarming stuff. Imagine driving and seeing that. Well, earlier today on our 400 series highways and some other regional roads as well, there have been many accidents, in fact, and Kevin is on location at one. Thanks so much Rob, for that, Kevin. We have still some cool air upon us, and it's possible that we may still see a few remnant showers out there, but largely now we should be on the mend with regard to the conditions outside. It's sunny, it's still cool on Sunday, Saturday also cool, but we start to see a rebound in our temperatures back up into the low teens. Some showers coming back Monday. This is actually going to be actually returning from eastern Canada and on the back side of that some showers coming right back into southern Ontario by the beginning of next week. The winds have been pretty brisk in southern Ontario the last couple of days but now we're going to start to see things stabilize a little bit and I'll give you more details on your forecast in just a moment. Let's though first go to southern Chile where there was a volcanic eruption ash and steam that's coming out of that volcano. 4,000 people were evacuated as a result. Pretty alarming stuff. Let's take a look at what's happening. The Earth is an amazing thing. Uh, and speaking of that, it is Earth Action Week here at the Weather Network. Let's check, check in outside with Kelly Noseworthy. We will. Thank you very much, Kelly, for that. Let's get into your short-term forecast. The temperatures today are pretty amazing. Overnight, temperature dips down to below freezing once again. The winds, not as strong tomorrow as they are Today, we still have some pretty decent northwest winds here, cool temperatures, and also more in the way of cloud cover today with lake enhancement that we've seen from the snow, and then tomorrow brighter skies are expected. So when we look ahead, the clearing is on its way, but it is still going to be cold overnight as we just saw minus one overnight, but the winds are not so much of an issue. Interesting thing happening with our low pressure system that's been hanging out here. Look what happens. It moves away but then it comes right back. There's going to be a swath. You'll see it come right back into southern Ontario by Monday here. So it's almost really retrograding back on us. And that's what's responsible for bringing you uh, the showers that you see on your local forecast or as seen right here on the Monday time frame here. Thank you so much for that, Chrissy. And temperature wise, it is chilly, cold enough for some snowfall. Let's go outside and check in on our chilly weather with Kevin. Yes, we will warm up, but it's going to take a couple of days for us to see that. In terms of winds, we've been seeing some very strong winds the last few days, but they've been from the southwest. Now they're from the northwest. They're easing slightly. We get that clearing to happen overnight. Temperatures are cold. We've got wind chill, reg, uh, wind chills, I should say, registering for the overnight. Probably in that minus five range for most across southern Ontario with clearing. So there's not as much in the way of cloud cover tomorrow as for today. Snowfall, April 23rd, imagine that. Well, you know what, it's been known actually to snow in the month of May sometimes, so we have to be aware of that. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, we do have this retrograding low. There's a swath of moisture that comes back into Ontario, northeast and south by Monday. And that's why on your local forecast, you see the rain icon here. But notice the temperatures do come back, as Kevin was asking, yes, 12 degrees by Saturday. Well, yesterday we were telling you how we might start off the day today with some snow that indeed materialized. Not everywhere, but a lot of pockets of snow out there, some lake enhancement, in fact. I'll detail your forecast for you in just a moment. Let's go to must-see video. We're exploding on uh, contact with that water. Pretty amazing stuff. Let's take a look at our conditions outside, and to do that, let's join up with Kelly Noseworthy. All right, thanks very much for that, Kelly. Let's get into your forecast details. Will you bike in these types of conditions? Some people do, actually, yes, especially, but more in the way of some sunshine tomorrow, which will also help to bring up our temperatures. So a mix of sun and cloud expected uh, both tomorrow, actually more uh, mainly sunny tomorrow, but more in the way of a mix of sun and cloud by Saturday. And then look at this low pressure system just grazing by the southwest of the province, not expecting much from that in the GTA. Sunny and cool on Sunday, and the temperatures do start to come up a little bit by this time frame. So despite it saying cool, it's cool relative to the normal this time of year. We're talking still this weekend about, uh, say, 12 degrees. And then Monday, we've got this retrograding low that brings precipitation back from the east. 
back into us. And that's why we see on Monday the rainfall, 11 degrees, feels like 9 and a low of 4. At least we're out of those sub-zero temperatures by then. Here's the May pattern. The warmer air starts to build in from the south. We will have more in the way of sunshine tomorrow than today. Still, that cool pattern is upon us, and I'll tell you when we break free from that in just a moment. Let's go to southern Chile. This is our must-see video in southern Chile. So let's take a look at what's happening with our weather conditions because, of course, we've had some pretty alarming weather of our own, especially when we talk about the impact that the snow has had on our 400 series highways. We are definitely going to be seeing the temperatures climbing out of that starting tomorrow. But when we look at our short-term forecast, we're to see at least more when the wave sunshine tomorrow. And the sun is responsible in many cases, especially this time of year, to helping heat the ground, which then subsequently heats the air above it. So looking at our sustained winds, it's not as windy tomorrow either. As that ridge of high pressure builds in for the weekend, it also brings up our temperatures. So we can see that cloud cover through the evening, not that much. We're really starting to see that clearing trend. That's partially why we have those temperatures feeling so cold. But look what happens with our, our low pressure system. The rain just pinwheeling, uh, actually pinwheeling around. You'll see there's a swath of precipitation that comes back right here by Monday. So it's really retrograding back into us as opposed to moving away. And so when we look at our seven day forecast, that's what that is. That's that retrograding uh, low pressure system, or at least a swath of precipitation and comes back onto us. Hamilton also looking at 11 by Monday with rainfall.